I'm Abby. Um, I'm a grade 12 student. I'm graduating this year, thank goodness. Um, I go to Fun Day. I lived in Fredericton for a year, and but I live in St. George now. So I own Dipped and Paint Customs, um, a custom attire business, and this is my story. Um, beforehand, I just want to show a little bit about me. I think it's important to know a person beforehand before getting into anything. I like murder mysteries, murder anything pretty much. I'm obsessed. I like finding out who Zodiac killers or a whole bunch of different things like that. I'm obsessed with rappers and I like singers, different things like that. Post Malone, Machine Gun Kelly, and Kendrick Lamar are probably my biggest people I like look up to and get inspired by their different lyrics and different aspects of their music and their music videos and just a whole bunch of things like that I really, really enjoy. Um, and another big thing about my brand and about me is I love the water, I love nature, but specifically oceans in Canada. They're a huge portion of what makes Earth Earth and they're incredibly important to sustain and keep alive because they help the planet pretty much. And with what my brand is, I'm trying to eliminate fast fashion and fast fashion uses seven billion dollars of water every year and seven billion gallons of water every year in the consumption of fast fashion so i'm trying to eliminate that with us and another thing i find really important that i've sort of dealt with and i'm still in use right now is mental health um mental health is super important as we all know and it affects everybody daily and with my brand, I sort of started on the aspect of me wanting to do something with my mental health and sort of bring, I don't know, awareness to it. And with COVID being a big thing in 2020 and still a big thing about us now, I just made that apparent. Um, and yeah, it basically where my business started from was when the whole COVID pandemic first started in 2020. Um, I had a hard time dealing with it myself um, and I wanted to put that into something I could use and make a change. So I decided to make my brand and put passion into hard times, which is where Dipped in Paint Customs was born. Now, what is dip? So I, dip, Dipped in Paint Customs, I do custom apparel, I do custom assets, and I do custom artwork. So I have some up on the board and some jackets. So I do like custom jackets different custom pieces of apparel and this bad boy and then I do custom artwork and hyper realism pieces and all of the pieces vary depending on their time and the process upwards to six months to a year to create each piece and yeah, I do Spotify plaques, I do Spotify keychains, those are my biggest sellers in my business. And those are just the Spotify streaming app and you scan the code and then you get to play the song, which is pretty cool. And yeah, that's pretty much a little bit about my business. We're just eliminating fast fashion daily and helping the planet little by little. And my social media platforms are right there and that's just a little bit about me. Anything and everything. I'm open to anything. How much I make, how much. Yeah. What kind of paints do you use? I use, I find more, for me, I use acrylic and then I use a mixer to mix it to fabric because with the way I do my jackets, they need to be permanent. Bec um, so I use a mixer and that's how I get fabric paint. I don't, I don't like tend to use fabric paint a lot because I find it's too heavy. And the jackets, if you want to hand wash them, I can't really. Like with acrylic paint, it will come off, but with the mix, it pretty much makes them permanent. And where do you source your jackets from? Thrift stores. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Yeah, it's, I, I think it's important to uh, sort of get those, like I, sourcing them from outdoor sources and like factories and stuff, I don't think is the best option for the planet. And with fast fashion and different brands like that, it, it's, it's getting pretty bad for our planet, I think. And it's, I think sourcing those things from people who's used them before and then making something new out of something that's been let down upon I guess the word is it's pretty important. No, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Did you ever consider getting like a tattoo? 
Yes, I actually have. I have one right here. I, I'm planning on getting more. Um, that was my original. Before I even actually wanted to do my business, I've, I've always had a love for art and I've always wanted to pursue that. But tattooing is actually one of the things that I was thinking about getting into. It's, uh, I don't know, the detail work and everything, like the time. And, and it's just a needed thing right now because everybody wants tattoos. Like it's pretty, it's a pretty cool thing. But yes, I did. So uh, fast fashion is, it's a harsh consumption. So child labor, like that's a fast fashion they use on lawful things and they consume at a rapid rate. And it's, I don't know, like not good, like fabric, like polyesters and stuff like that. And they throw them away. So like into oceans and like landfills. What's your design process like? Like what's your creative process? When you So it depends on what the customer wants. Like for, I'll just bring up one, I guess. Oh, alrighty. So like, we'll do this one right here because this took me six months of work for this jacket. So it was my teacher that actually wanted it at school. This is about last year time. And she loved this artist and loved their work. And she wanted to put a piece into, um, into a jacket. So I had to go through I had to go get the source of jacket out from the thrift stores. Um, I had to get her sizing and stuff like that. And then I had to do a color plan of all the different colors in the in the piece. And then I had to design it, sketch it out, um, mix all the paints, and then go ahead and design it. Not design it, but paint it. And I think I don't think I did bleaching on it, but just paint it and then seal it and. Just like have a good solid plan beforehand because I couldn't go into this and just be like, oh, I'm gonna do it. So a solid plan, I would say, is what I had. Yes? How much did you charge? They, I charged, this one I charged 574, but my jacket's gonna get for 775 and higher. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. So I think I, it's a really weird thing to say, but I want to go into policing. So I want to do my art, I want to do RCMP and my business. And I hope, like my plan is to do like open stores and I have a couple things coming up. I, I've had like experience opening like markets and stuff. I organized a f uh, entrepreneur market here back in, this was last year around March and it had over 12 entrepreneurs. So I have the background of organizing and different things like that. and. I'm gonna open a Shopify soon and just websites and different things like that. Um, I'm getting my clothing into stores, hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, I'm actually in the process of doing a fashion show, which is my biggest biggest thing right now, and a collection in the works of Zodiac signs. What so for, how do you run your business? What how do I run my business? Media are you using right now for your business? So I'm using Instagram right now. Um, I find market-wise, when you run a business, you wanna find your target market and target market atmosphere. Um, I haven't gotten to TikTok a lot. I find that's not really the best platform for me, but I usually do all my stuff from Instagram and I do my orders and all my little businessy things. I do it from here, like my insights. I see what my target mark, like if you're trying to find your target market, a good way is to do surveys. I find and what the best, um, like on here, I find you can do like just specific insights to see like what, like different genders and like the different locations and stuff you can get from your business. So yeah. What, what's your top seller? Like, my Spotify you? plaques and my keychains. Okay. So they would be, I could probably find them on here. So it's the scanner, like I said, and you get to scan them and it will show their favorite song. It's like a couple thing or like this girl, she had her best friend is for her birthday. So she got their favorite song and the time on it and the scanner. And yeah, the whole, I just get a frame and I use my Cricut. I have a machine for my Cricut I use and it cuts out everything. It pretty much 3D cuts everything. It's a pretty, pretty nice rig and it does me well. Yeah. How much you made um, in the last month or so? Mm -hmm. Are you willing to uh, yeah. share that with the class? So this, yeah, so it depends with your business. You're going to have highs and lows and it's, you're gonna have like with the Christmas season and stuff like that, your revenue is gonna be higher because people are looking for those gifts and stuff like that and people are willing to spend more money. Last month I made around roughly 15, I would say 15 
grand. That's what I made last month. But three months ago, I made about 17, I would say. That's my highest I've ever, ever made. Um, but yeah, it you're going to differ depending on your months and stuff like that. And it all depends what you want to do, right? So yeah, but it all... I've, I've started from practically making $3 on one to now 17 And in what span of time? A year, I would say a year and a half right. is what it's come to now. Yeah, I would say a year. Um, so that's, you know, that's a real, that's, you know, a success that you're mm -hmm. having. Talk about, you talked to the students this morning about um, uh, an issue that you had with um, an order. So do you want to talk about that? Yeah, for sure. So with my jackets, um, how I do payment now is I do direct because you with businesses and stuff, you want to get your money up front or deposit. With my jackets, I get half of a deposit now. So if, let's say, the jacket's like 400-ish, um, I'll get 200 up front. And then I'll get the rest like whenever I get it done pretty much. But I had an issue with a jacket. I lost six grand on an order because the guy completely ghosted me and he just blocked me on everything and I lost six grand because of that one mistake I made was not taking up all my money up front. So just, I, I guess a tip of advice I could give is make sure to have respect for yourself and not let other people bully you into just letting it go and being easy because I find with small businesses you're going to get that issue. And you want to make just make sure you have enough respect for yourself and your brand to be able to take it in. As far as time management goes, like a typical day, like when you look at your week, do you have like literally every minute kind of planned out? Every minute. It's usually runs from two weeks to three weeks ahead. Okay. So I, I didn't have, like, when we were in the ideas, I had a good idea of time management, but I don't think I realized how important that was in a business. You need to have everything strategically planned because before on my stuff, this is when I was starting this stuff. This is about last year I did this. I didn't have good time management skills, and I would spend the whole day doing this one thing. But, yeah, that's important. But at the same time, you need to let other blocks for different things. So for me, I'll do, like, marketing, or one day then I'll do time like money management and then one day I'll do um oh my goodness money um time and I'll obviously I have to eat so I have to plan how to eat and plan how to sleep and different things like that right and then I have to do like actual work and then I have to answer emails and I have to deposit money and there's just a whole bunch of different things that that I have to have in blocks that I never realized I had to have before but it's incredibly important yes I, my goal, it's, it's, that's a good question, actually. Um, I love this. When I first started it, I was I pretty much only doing this for fun. I, well, I still pretty much do it for fun. Um, but I think more now, it's more making into something that I can make more of a solid income than just making it for something fun. Like, I find with business, yes, you're going to have fun with it and you want it, but you want to make sure you can actually make a living off this if this is what something you want to do. So, yeah, I just want to make that more apparent in my life, and I think that that's something I want to look forward to and do more and not do two jobs, three jobs, and just focus on this. But, yeah, that, I guess that's what it would be. How do you keep, like, your motivation job? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, I, mental health is pretty important, and I have to take time for myself. My motivation solely is making an impact. I think impacts are pretty important. In the world and I just I want to do something that people love and enjoy and that's pretty much my biggest motivator and my family and stuff like that I have a three-year-old sister and she's pretty much my biggest motivator um, I just want to see a, a better world I guess and I want to I guess make the world better for other people and I love what I do I, I love it every single day and I like talking to people like you guys and just I don't know that's pretty much my biggest motivator I guess Yes? Uh, what has been your hardest challenge so far in getting your business? Yeah, probably marketing, and your biggest struggle is going to be patience. I didn't have any patience when I first started this, and I thought, I'm going to get this much money at the start. I'm going to be this 
big person at the start, but it's it's all about patience and how you take it, I guess. And you have to have a strong sense of yourself and don't lose that in your business and don't say, oh, I'm, I'm just all about money, right? You need to just, I guess, humble yourself pretty much and know that you're you're still an average person right like you're I guess that's that's to answer your question I don't want to ramble on if you go back to that Abby and give that Abby advice what would you tell that Abby? don't stress yourself out as much as you did okay. I would say to myself like when cope was going on I was really struggling with mental health and I I mean everybody does but I still do now but I would say don't stress yourself out as much like you're not take your time you're still a teenager and you want to enjoy life like don't make your whole life about striving for something it's important to yes work ethic is incredibly important but you want to still have time for yourself and be yourself right like I don't I'm still myself and I don't want to I would want to tell myself that just to be myself and just give myself a pat on the back because everybody's doing great you just need to realize that would you have even thought that that you no, like, yeah. I thought I would just be st at home. There's not many job options because it's a really, really small town. So I thought I would be stuck somewhere and just doing the same thing every day, nine to five. But I mean, it is nine to five pretty much what I'm doing, but yeah. it's doing something I love. I never realized that I could take something and pursue it and just running with it and being successful at it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. What do you, I mean, a, a lot of teenagers, Grand a month. Yeah. Do you do with all of this? Just save your money. Like, don't. Everybody says that, but it's so important. Like, you'll. Like, I I never realized how important it was because last year I didn't have any savings. Like, I was. I'm gonna be completely. Honest, I was zero in savings and maybe two hundred dollars in my bank account. But now with saving, and I'm gonna think about investing soon. One um, year, how much is in your bank account now? Thirty, probably thirty-ish. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, you're making a bunch of money a month. Uh, what, what does most of it like go to? Because obviously you're not like putting that much in your bank account every month. Um, well, website with, um, I'm going to open Shopify soon. So monthly things like my Cricut membership. Um, and I have tools. I have my paint. I probably spent upwards of $300 to $600 a month in paint. Good quality paint that I'm using for acrylic. Um, and Angelus, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a shoe customizing because I'm getting into that too. Um, and all my like packaging, I use eco-friendly packaging. So all of my stuff is biodegradable. So all the paper and stuff like that, um, the rope sort of things, um, shipping, shipping yes, but probably uh, average I spend on my business a month is going to be six, seven. Yeah. 